Got it here five more very unique folding knives, uh, very unique folding mechanism. This is right here Boca Plus. I showed you that before. This one is clear. J and J Hawk. This is very unique knife. This is pretty hard to get. You see his uh, original clip over here, designer. Plenty of leverage. This one is definitely a collector item. You do not want to use this. How does this work? Well, we can actually look at it. If we pull on it, you see, it will lift up this whole rail. It's uh, connected to the blade, you see it? And it will push it forward. But the springs on both sides will pull it back. How cool is that? And that's what makes it so fidgety. Just push on it and fold it. JJ Hawk, definitely an amazing designer. Uh, some of his knives go for a couple of thousand dollars or more. Depends how rare they are. Next, we got it here, wild hair. So like a beard comb. But at the same time, I guess you could use it like this, like a comb. And if you pull it all the way out, you have right here a knife. Kind of like two finger, three finger grabber knife. Omar, is that how you pronounce it? A very unique little dagger right here, one of a kind, and it's called wild hair. That is weird. And it comes with a nail file. There you go. These things are pretty rare, hard to find. Next one is Protect, Blade HQ exclusive. A Blade HQ is pretty good on making this exclusive clear knives, see-through knives, so we can see how it works especially if you appreciate and collect this kind of uh, design knives that is uh, very unique. As you can see, this one also see through and whenever we press the button, let's see what happens. It flicks it out, so it's assisted. And what do we see here? Uh, there's a spring all the way around here inside of the handle. It's really hard to see with this one. That's why the clearer the knife, the better. But you see the whole thing is moving. Looks like there's a bunch of oil in there as well. It is snappy, that's for sure. There you go, that's what Protex look like. I wish it was much clearer. We kind of can see, and I think it says Protex on the inside there as well. And it locks in here. Wow, super cool handle that is see-through. You can see some of the moving parts in here. Blade HQ exclusive definitely makes some of the most desirable collectible pieces. Next we got here Columbia River CLKT. Uh, this one is like a ten dollar knife. I don't know a lot of people know about it or not. This is just very unique. It comes with one of these carabiners. That's quite nice. So you can hang it here and here. And what's so unique about this? This is actually a fixed blade knife, but it comes off this way, and then you take it out all the way. Look at that. I didn't even know anything like that existed. And there's the designer and uh, uh, steel. That is quite nice, miniature two inch knife, maybe less. Open up boxes and such. So to put it away, you just plug it in, in here pretty freely, and then just slide it and lock it. For $10, I think it's a really good purchase, especially for the vintage one. And the last one, Smith & Wesson, a little folding knife. Check this out, this is probably the weirdest one. You pull it this way, kind of give it a little help. And there is a design by Rocky Mor Mosser, um, Smith & Wesson Power Glide, that's the name of it. That is weird. Button number, kind of have to help it push it down and it locks in over here. You see there's a lock. You kind of can open and close all the way. If you kind of push it down and give it this, this one motion, sometimes it gets stuck. So you gotta be pretty uh, confident about it for it to work. But as you can see, it like definitely works with gravity. You have to point down because other than that, you see, it kind of gets stuck. You gotta go uh, help it out. So definitely a very unique knife, power glide.